Hey guys, Jason here. I'm gonna do a, um, a quick video tutorial tonight on When I Lost My Heart to You um, by Joel Houston. Uh, this is from the Empire's album of um, Hillsong United. And I'm gonna take you through the acoustic guitar part tonight. Uh, we're gonna focus on the finger picking part. Uh, there's also, if you wanna play it with strumming, you can, um, but I'm sticking pretty much to the way it was recorded on the Empire's album um, uh, with the acoustic guitar part uh, that, that, that they play. Uh, so I'm going to adjust this down just a little bit so you can see what's going on. Um, there's really three sections to the song, um, the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. And the chorus, at the, at the end, the very last chorus, they do a variation on it that goes to a, a little outro, um, and I'll show you that as well. Um, so uh, first thing I want to talk about is just finger picking. Um, there's... there's there's a, a repetitive pattern that's used throughout the song, and so I'm going to show you um, just a. I'm going to start with just a C chord. So the the song is in the key of F. Okay, so some of the chords that we use are F, um, D minor, B flat, C. Um, there's a G that's in there. Uh, so let me let me walk you through. No, I thought, there's no G. I'm sorry. It's F, uh, C, B flat, D minor. Those are the main chords. Um, so let me let me walk you through how this is played. First, we're going to start on the on the fretboard, just so you know where we're at. This is I have an alt. This is a normal tuned guitar. So off of the E, the first fret, there's my F. Um, off the E A string, I can go. There's a C, and then from the D string, third fret, there's an F. So this is this is where we're going to be spending a lot of our time between this F. This third fret on the third string. You've got the D uh, here on the fifth fret, second string. C on the third fret, second string, and B flat, and the open A. So there's a lot that we're going to be doing built off of off of those positions. Um, so let's start with this F. So um, I'm picking with my thumb on this F. And then I've got on the fifth fret on the fourth string a C, and then on the sixth fret on the fifth string another F. So that makes a little open F sound. You see, I've got my finger there, thumb, first finger picking this the C, and then second finger picking the F. So let me just show you this pattern on those three notes. Okay, so practice this pattern. It goes thumb, first finger, thumb, second finger. Thumb, first finger, thumb, second finger, first finger, thumb. So the, uh, the very first chord of the song, uh, and, and the chord sheet from Hillsong United, it calls it an F6. It's basically, it's a D minor seven. And so there's my F, and I told you we're gonna be using this D. So there's the uh, fifth fret, second string D with my thumb. There's I, still the, this, the other two fingers I'm leaving where I had it for that, that F. So there's my F, right? I'm just taking this bottom F and I'm switching it for this D. And then there's a C and then F. So here's the intro. It goes the D, C, F. And on all of those, I'm leaving this um, high F and C as the upper notes. That's the intro. And then we're to the, the first verse. Um, so the verse, I go down to this, 
this B flat here, first fret on the second string. And then this chord pattern you're gonna see used over and over. So it's, um, I've got B flat and then up an octave, a B flat. So this is the first fret on the second string and third fret on the fourth string. There's my octave B flats. And then I use my pinky to get that D up above it. I'm gonna show you this pattern because it's used a lot. So you can play, there's B flat, I can slide it up two frets and I have a C. If I wanted to, I could slide it up two more frets and I could play a D major. There's no D majors in this song, so if I take this pinky and instead of using the pinky, um, I go down to the, uh, the fret right before it, I can make that major into a minor and that makes a D minor chord, right? And then we're also gonna use this C up here, which goes back to that original position. C, C, I'm sorry, F. F, F, and an A. So I've got B flat, C, D minor, and then up here, a C. I'm, I'm sorry, F, F. So that, um, so I'm just giving you the frets, that's, uh, three, five, seven, that's the eighth fret on the second string, and that's the tenth fret on the fourth and fifth string. All right, so now we're to the, 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 um, the verse. Uh, love. And what I like to do here, for the D minor, rather than playing a straight D minor, I play this D minor seven, kind of like we were in the intro. Okay, so that was the verse. I'll give you the, the chord positions again. It was B flat. And then I'm just, for the C, I'm just moving this second finger to play on the third fret. And I don't do anything different than just that one note. So it's. Then I slide it up to the D and I go to that original position with the, the C and the F up above, which makes a D minor seven. Then I have a F. F, C, F, that we did at the beginning. And then I go to my C, which is a C, C, and an E here. Right? It repeats that. And then we, that leads us to the pre-chorus. Um, pre-chorus is really simple. Um, you, it's not really finger picking, it's just you, you pick the, the chord. So it starts on a B flat. And I play the B flat here on the second string, first fret. And then I'm on the third, the fifth string, the third fret for the D, and then open A with a C, and back to the B flat with a D, and then we go to a D minor, same one we did before, right? And then to that F, slide it back down to the B flat D, C over A, B flat, D, and then we're to this F, slide it down to the C. So let me play that for you again. Um, you have my heart.
So let me play that for you again. Oh, hallelujah, it's a B flat. We've got B flat, B flat D, and I'm just sliding it up to that, that uh, F, sliding it down to the C, and I do that three times. Then we go to the D minor, I'm going back to this original position where the, the C and the F up top and using my second finger to get that D. And then the B flat, and we slide it to the F. And that's the whole chorus. I mean, if you notice the finger picking pattern I'm using is the same throughout. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Back to the verse, the same one we did before. One of the things I want to point out, when you get to the C, sometimes he plays a, it's a C, what do they call it, C sus4? It's really a C with an F still in it, which sounds something like this. So basically, instead of just playing that clean C with a C octave and the E, I, I bar this so I have that F chord, that F note in there. And he does that a few times in the, um, in the verse on the recording. In fact, if you look at the chord sheet, you see it listed up top, uh, the voicing for it, um, but you don't really, you don't really see it in the, in the, in the chord sheet anywhere. So it's basically, um, when you feel like you wanna add it, you add it. Uh, for the ending, uh, the voicings are the same. Um, it's just they, they, the chords change around a little bit as he, he changes the way he sings it. Um, but it goes, it basically goes, um, Oh, hallelujah. Oh, sorry. And then he goes up here. That's the song figure picking on the guitar in a standard tuning. I'm going to do another video in a minute that shows you an alternative way to play it. It doesn't follow the original recording exactly, um, but it's a little bit easier. There's not quite as much movement with the, the hand positions, and it uses an open tuning um, and a capo. Um, so, so check out my next video. It's the alternate tuning version of When I Lost My Heart to You. And please subscribe to the channel for, for more uh, tutorials on, on how to play uh, modern worship songs and guitar, piano, uh, bass guitar, and electric guitar. Thanks.